YouTube sensation. Millions of hits, billions of lols. If you haven't heard of him, Google him now. He is at the beginning of a colossal tour. He's just done Edinburgh. He's doing London tonight. Catch him all over the place till November. It is Mr. Tom Walker. Good morning. Hello. Um, that's the nicest introduction I've had. Thank you very much. You, uh, you've not Billion, had any Billions of lols. I'm going to put that on my poster, I think. Put it on. Great. You know, use that's what I, I, people harvest my bon mots for yeah. their posters constantly. Yeah. Five stars and billions of lols. <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> we all want that. Uh, no, because Phil and I this very morning were lamenting the fact that Edinburgh has been and gone and we weren't there this year for the first time in about four years. But it, was it your first It one? was my first ever Edinburgh. And um, the way I feel right now, it will be my last. <laughs> um, it's exhausting. It is relentless. And uh, the, 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 the manner of the show that I do, you can't phone it in and yeah. you can't do it on a hangover. So I was being very sensible. Temperate. Temperate, to say the least. And by virtue of that, I've so I felt like I was missing out yeah. quite a lot. Everyone else is... It's party time, and I was... Doing the show, going home, two episodes of Walking Dead, bed. That was that was my Edinburgh. So um, we were seeing the loft bar. We're in the loft bar at ten, mate. Oh man, and I did move on to the gilded balloon. But I did, I, I did go out a couple of nights, and it is full. All those bars is full of comedians, obviously. And this is the phrase. This is the phrase you hear the most. And I swore to myself I'd never say it myself, and I did end up saying it all the time because the Guardian gave me a very bad review. But they, they say, <laughs> "Oh, this is the phrase." I mean, it was three stars, but it read like four stars. Ah, did they or, say that? or or she got four stars. But my show, I know for a fact, is better than hers. And it's just full of... You can you keep hearing all these phrases. You go, get me the hell out of here. I want a Weatherspoons now. <laughs> With actual people in it, not yeah, comedians. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. Because we, we, we used to spend most of our time... And they've changed it now. Because yeah. the, the, the BBC compound used to be on Cogate or Potter or something. It was I, did, I did a show. I did a little did skit there for, for on Radio 4 uh, for them. A huge tent. But yeah, there was this sort of... It was a compound, yeah, wasn't it? Compound. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is, a compound. Yeah. <laughs> but inst inst instead of sort of uh, Kandahar soldiers, it's just got comedians saying things like it's three stars, but it read like four stars. Mm. And so, because I don't, all that I know about Jonathan, yeah. about your alter ego, yeah. uh, a fake journalist created yeah. by yourself, is what I've seen on YouTube, which yep. is fantastic. And I, we, I, I first came into contact with it not long ago, really. But is it true that you only really started it about a year or so Roughly ago? Roughly a year ago to the day, um, I was an out-of-work actor... And I had been for some time, and I thought, I'm going to, I'm done. I'm done with this. I can't do it anymore. Um, so I made a decision literally, probably about a year ago to the day, I'm done, over. Um, and then I thought, I'm going to get to the end of the year, get to Christmas, and then that'll be it. I'll call my agent and go, that's it. I'm going to wow. become a teacher or something. But I thought, I'm not going out without a fight. And I thought, I had this character in my head that, it, and he's a, for those people that don't know him, he is a, a, a reasonably good. Uh, broadcast mm. news journalist roving reporter but it's what happens between those takes it's what happens when he cuts back yeah. to the studio what does he really think of the news that he's just said and i'd had this character in my head for a while and i thought well, just film it just do it so i did one and it got a few thousand hits and i did another one and it got a few more thousand hits and at the time i thought that was viral and i think the fourth <laughs> one i did just someone nicked it off youtube and put it up on their facebook page and by the end of the weekend it had 10 million views Jeez. or something and then this is now my job. I, I now appear to be. Um, <laughs> a, a, I'm no longer an out-of-work actor. I'm a, I'm a political satirist. It's absolutely <laughs> amazing, that. It's great. It's w amazing. Was there a little bit, then, of, of the bile that, that you see Jonathan sort of come out with? Was that was a certain amount of that real channeling of, well, I, I've been thriving at the cold face of acting for all this time. And I mean, it is true. I can be an angry man, but I don't get angry about politics half as much as he does. I've shouted at the telly every now and then, but, uh, I mean, he cares much more about politics than i do i've learned a lot more over yeah. the last six months because i've got to sort of know what i'm talking about but uh i suppose it is a, it is a bit of a ch channeling of that frustration and 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 uh, um and that, i think that's i mean you, you learn a lot more about him in the live show that you it's actually it's not really politics it's not really the news it's it's he's he's annoyed at himself right that's and uh, that's what it really is and 
it's just that's that's the vent. That's yeah. his, he can vent at the government. He can vent at Tim, his long suffering producer. <laughs> he can, um, you know. So I hope we all relate to him, and I think we all relate to him because we've all got our different personas. You got your work persona. You yeah. got your on air persona. You got your pub persona. You got your persona that you have at Sunday lunch with your mum. Yeah. And and the, how, quick, how and out quickly them, they, they they swap. And I think so. Even if you don't agree with his politics, which a lot of people won't, you know, he's not always right. <laughs> let's, yeah. let's be honest. But um, I think you can relate to his his him him switching from professional to personal sort of persona. You know? There's a great the, the the New Year's the, the New Year's Eve one's a great one where he's basically just bladdered. I and, love uh, that. One. He's having a um, real rant about just but not so much about politics <clears> on that one. He's sort of he's doing a round of the like year. It was like sort of summer because you get them all at the end of the year, a summing up of, yeah. of the year. Um, <laughs> but yes, he 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 he, he um, breaks into his his studio and and does it while he's hammered, which is so I love because his boss is on holiday. Yeah, because like, I'm not just, on holiday. Just he's on to holiday. annoy his boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's. It's, I mean, this is the and and, and actually the, one of the ones that you do because what I can't get a handle of is how much of it is. It's scripted? How, uh, is it sort of part improvised, part scripted? It's, it's totally scripted. And normally when I come to do an interview, some cretinous producer <laughs> like Tim says, C can you do it in character? Yeah. And you go, no. No. Because also, for one, if Jonathan Pye was being interviewed right now, he'd give you a really good interview because yeah. he's a professional broadcaster yeah. but two it's it's heavily scripted it's not I, I would say with with the with the ones that you know the weekly little clips they're heavily scripted but they're not heavily rehearsed yeah, I'll spend okay. an hour rehearsing them so you get those ums and those ahs and those th and so actually normally when you see him trying to think of what to say it's me going trying what's, to remember the, ne your what's line? the next yeah. line but so it gives it that that sense that it's, it's he's thinking of it on the spot yeah. I mean when it comes to the live show yeah I mean there is it is I, because I'm an actor. I'm not a comedian. I'm not a stand-up. Uh, I've I've approached it like it's a play. It's a it's a one-man play, and um, with a story arc, with a script that I have learnt word for word. And obviously, as things change, I mean, uh, the referendum didn't help. I had to <laughs> had to rewrite a third of the script, but the structure's the same. And it's uh, so it's an acting exercise yeah. for me, you know, because um, so it's it's probably a similar result to as if a comedian had gone had. had done the same thing but just a different path to sort of get there if you see what i mean yeah and and uh, and tim is uh, very much my phil really isn't he tim, tim, it's wonderful to have a is phil quite as cretinous I, and, uh, 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 careful. <laughs> well this is it because he, you know he just tend to he tidies things up for me in in my life as well as right, in my okay. work you All know right. so diff completely different but we I, I, many years ago i used to have a sort of producer which we called silent producer mick who he, he, but he was there but he was ne he was referred to all the time but never heard but that's it's quite a nice little device for you isn't it that's all he really rant is against i mean him and i mean that was originally what all he was is a device that he's got that you've got someone in your ear who who i'm talking to otherwise i'm just talking to no one yeah and also someone with clearly a slightly different political view he's probably sort of etonian also oh, that's the way i sort of picture yeah. him i think everyone pictures him differently but all he really is is a device for me to be able to vent at yeah but as as the year has gone on his tim's character is i mean you get it on facebook all the time people love tim or yeah. they hate him yeah. or they and he doesn't he doesn't exist yeah. <laughs> but you know um he's just a device for jonathan pye to, to vent and and um he is in the live show. He is. I've got my earpiece in in the live show, and he does make well, not an appearance, but you you can you, you get a it's more he, tangible. Yeah, he, he is. He's somewhere in the area. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, it's a bit like uh, John Shuttleworth with Ken Ken Worthington. is yeah. uh, yeah. soul soul agent, isn't it? That yeah. kind of thing. But it, it, and so, like you mentioned it before, but you weren't uh, a political expert before no. have you ha, do you now spend quite a lot of time reading the newspapers uh, you what's to? really interesting is uh, i do i do read the newspapers and i try to read uh, you know your obvious your guardian and your independent but i also try to read you know the telegraph a couple of times a week and then i'll i'll look at the bbc news twitter is great for <laughs> discovering um decent articles written by you know th that we don't have yeah. on our newsstands yeah. and like cnn or the new york times or where it so that's really good for for sort of collating that sort of information uh, it's, well in the last three or four months jonathan's had a lot to go at hasn't he Let's it's be been the most i mean for a lot of people uh, brexit was was deeply upsetting for fundamental political reasons for me it was upsetting <laughs> because i 
I have never been busier. <laughs> I, th- there was one piece that I wrote, uh, and I thought, because there was a moment there, there was, it, it seems odd now, doesn't it, But how quickly things change, but there was a moment there where it was sort of pretty clear as day that Boris was likely to be our yeah. next Prime Minister, or very, very likely. Yeah. So I wrote this whole thing about Boris being our next Prime Minister, and as I put <laughs> finally put the full stop on, I got a text through, Boris is gone. <gasps> it's no! It's just no! So then you get rid of that, and then uh, t- uh, ten days later, he's foreign secretary, and you're like, I can't keep up. And you th- you think you're upset about Brexit. Imagine being a political commentator who, who t- do you know what I mean? It was it was a nightmare. So personally, I was not I was not keen on the EU referendum result, no. but for very different reasons. Yeah, a lot of twelve hour days. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. Well, I stay I stayed up that night and and watched it come in at about six in the morning. I I got open the script for the live show and just put in red everything that would have to go and it was it was a third of the script this is it you you, you don't realize what you're doing to poor old tom here (laughs) um tom walker tours the uk and uh, tonight is in london and then as i say all the way to the end of november you're all over the place aren't you so have you girded your loins for it i I have i think doing edinburgh was a was a was a baptism of fire and now every now and then i'll get a day off and also there's an extra there's a there's some new dates added in february um so you know check out the website yeah because uh, it's selling really well which i'm very happy about well I'm ending up at the shepherd's bush empire how ridiculous oh God, is that that's all that very quickly hasn't it somebody who's going to turn his back on the whole profession and become a teacher <laughs> i know I headlining know. the shepherd's bush empire like yeah. the band of horses <laughs> <laughs> this is unbelievable um well listen very good look we absolutely love what you do we can't oh, wait to you see much. you do it live uh, i was going to call you Jonathan Pye then that's that right, would be a colossal mistake Don't of worry. course Don't Tom worry. Walker thank you very much cheers buddy thank you <laughs>